it's very interesting. Um, these are great questions. Um, <laughs> That's a great question. I love your questions. Really indulging in a lot of confession because <laughs> um, that's what brings you close and that's how you build chemistry. On a personal note, I know you like the personal, 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 personal <laughs> stories. This is a very, very big admission. Um, but, you know, one of the... Yeah, and it was a very, very strange experience. But I kind of... And you're, you're, you're literally like in... You're frozen in shock. Uh, I never really put it like that. It's uh, kind of sad, but true. That I stole something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when I was a kid. When Maya would say how proud she was of me, I didn't know what she meant until I can now see how proud I am of Ava. And I know that Maya felt the same way about me. I know what that is. You know, wanted me to do it. And, and I said, I, I'm not really, I don't see myself as Christ, uh, uh, Jesus. So, so I played a lot of characters, as you say, Christian Grey, who who has a lot of uh, belief and confidence in the way he looks and the way he sounds and, and, and it likes to be in control of things. And then you've got Anthony Riley, who is the polar opposite of that. And uh, I think that's probably a bit closer to who I am, you know. And How does one engage in conflict? How does one engage in yes, conflict? Yes, because that's what this whole movie well, is about. that's a stupid about. question. Can <laughs> <laughs> you just say what I was doing there? <laughs> Don't make just being combative. Like yes. Yeah, yeah. So um, even even saying that joke, I, felt, I suddenly felt really anxious. I was like, what if you take that the wrong way? I'm leaving. Sorry. Sorry. Um. Same. <laughs> well, shall you my next To my left was Kim Kardashian, um, who at the time, her baby was going to be delivered. Yeah, I spent a lot of my childhood climbing trees. So, yeah, and I, I want, yeah, I, I um. I wish I did it more. How'd you get out of that? Well, um... Hmm, that's a great question. Um... I think I have and I'm capable of it. I don't think it's a rule of thumb. Mm -hmm. um, that's a good question. Yeah. Do you all right, all right. Has that ever happened to you? <laughs> how did it ever happen to me? <clears throat> and I mean, how, how many times today? Oh, darling, I'm not a film actor. I, you have to teach me how to do this. I really don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm fearful. I'm sure I'm being too big and uh, teach me how to be subtle and all that. And it was all bullshit. Um, I, I, I remember the first premiere I went to, I wore my dress backwards. Um, <laughs> and, you know, it's just like, okay, well. I remember there's a dear friend of mine, Gary Shandling from the Larry Sanders show. I used to play basketball with his every Sunday. And I remember a month after I finished a movie called Bruno, where I was playing this gay Austrian fashionista. And I was playing, and obviously, you know, I'd been in character for a few months, and he suddenly stopped the game, and he went, Sasha's still Bruno! Because I was still had Bruno's physicality when I was going up to the bar. I definitely have that side to me, the artistic side. And I think it has to do with when you, if you're at all in the horoscope, I'm a Leo, but I'm a Cancer rising. And uh, so I, I paint. Um, I'm very much into decorating and arranging. I love always when we make a decision to let's redecorate the house or let's redecorate a certain room or something like that. And I sometimes start collecting things just in case we decorate a certain room that I have all the stuff ready to go because I have a very clear vision of what things should look like and stuff like that. So definitely there's this side of me, yes. Pretty ballsy playing Hitler. Pretty ballsy playing Hitler. Shh. <laughs> okay, okay here you guys look for three really minutes. <laughs> Good. Just start the start, start timer again. Good. Um, to see you representing the other, because especially in did this I disappoint you, Margaret? I know. Not I at all. You have such I know. A, I know we've, we. We. <laughs> oh no, I'm not no, George, I just, I just want to tell you, yeah. I wore the heels, even though you can't see them. <laughs> it's, it's shameful. My wife does the same thing, and I end up looking like, uh, you know, I, I look like one of the munchkins. Yeah, um, that's actually a very good question. Um, uh, <laughs> which was not so successful, but uh, things that went wrong, not that the audience noticed, but I remember one of the first times I was doing it, I got so nervous that all the moisture left my mouth and my upper lip kept sticking to my top teeth. And I kept 
licking my mouth like a horse in between every joke. And uh, I remember getting off stage and my mother who was in the audience, I was like, how, how did you think it went? She's like, oh, it was, it was good, but you have a bad tick where you go like this all the time. So you need to maybe think about that. I was like, mom, I lost all the moisture left my mouth, okay? So <laughs> yeah. relax, yeah. So that, that's- I wanted to ask you something delicate. There's a, a scene that is just awful where the audience turns on her. And I know that you took some time off um, and the social media people really came after you for a while there. What was that like? Did it inform this particular performance for you? And is there anything you just want to say to all those trolls out there? Um, that's a big question and it's a good question. Um, the other two aspects of both movies kind of tie into your role uh, bizarrely as Black Widow. What appeals to you about the strong hero woman? A certain point or have to take a stand and and fight for what they know they need and um, you know even if it kind of goes against um, what is popular or um, you know even if it's going to be challenging or it's going to be dangerous in one some way and, and they don't know what the outcome is going to be they all take a risk to better their lives and the lives of the people that they love um, and you know I think that's what makes them all heroic in a way as you kind of pointed out Good. Yeah, they are. Okay. Yeah. So you I mean I think it's probably something deeper <laughs> Keep rooted. <laughs> You're like, eh. But um, no, actually, it's kind of stopped. And it's it's very, very rewarding. I agree. It's very moving. And I just have to thank you for everything that you did and for taking some of the brunt of it on your shoulders. It's appreciated. Thank you for knowing that. It <laughs> means something that you know that. Thank, thank you, you so much, Sharon. Thank, thank you. Bye-bye. Stay safe. Bye, you too. Hi, I'm Margaret Gardner. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed the interviews. If you did, maybe there's something else you'd like to have a look at. Please consider subscribing. And if you want to, you can also follow me on Instagram, Margaret underscore Gardner. Until I see you again, stay safe and happy and please subscribe.